Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia! Last time, we lost the Dual Blade. Nice. Fortunately, I have that Zircon Sword that I found earlier that only Adol can equip. Yeah, I probably spoiled it a little bit, but oh well. But anyway, we're supposed to go to Doom Island, but instead I want to do more side quests! Specifically, getting all the Dragon Eggs. Now, as you saw earlier, I got the eight of them and I exchanged them for a wish. I got a Might Shield. And then they scattered to eight different treasure chests across the world. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to direct you to each one. I'm not going to go through nearly as much detail as I'm showing you here to uh, find each of the Dragon Eggs. All I'm going to do is be like, hey, here's a dungeon, here's the floor, here's about how you get there, and move on to the next one, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you want more specific directions, I'll, look, I'll post it in the video description. Or you can just look it up in my text walkthrough here. So, okay, so I got the dragon egg in this chest here in Alekia. Um, like I said, I really don't want to dwell on this too much, so I'll just meet you at the next dragon egg chest. All right, dragon egg number two is on the roof of the Northwest Tower where we fought the apprentice earlier. Dragon egg number three is over here in the town of Belgium, just to show you about where it is. That's where it is. Dragon Egg number four is in this southwest cave where we got the key to dice, southwest of Belgium. Dragon Egg number five is here in the cave to Mars. It's either south of Mars or north of, uh, what was that one? Baku. Dragon Egg number six is in the Elba Island cave, the one that's straight north of Mars, and this is on the, just climb down all the ladders and you'll find it here. Dragon Egg number seven here is in the southwest cave under Ring Island. Just warp this a check, go underwater, go through all the currents, you can make it here. And Dragon Ball, or Dragon Egg, <laughs> number eight is here in the oil cave on the uh, second level, just below the uh, first level there. All right, we're back at the Dragon Shrine, southwest of Herat. So let's exchange uh, eight Dragon Eggs. and. I still want to go for another Might Shield, so let's go do that. Uh, give that to Adol there, if I can, and they're scattered again one more time. You can only get three wishes throughout the game, so now I'm going to show you where those ones go to as soon as I equip this. Yeah, nice defense, which is amazing compared to any other shield in the game. For the third set of Dragon Eggs, the first one is right here on the throne room of Sharan Castle. For some reason, they still have the ominous music here. Dragon Egg number two is here in the East Cave, the, the cave east of Trek. You go in there, you climb down here, you can't miss it. Dragon Egg number three is here in the village of Leiden. You can find it right in the kitchen area, you just go downstairs, you can't miss it. Dragon Egg number four is here in the old cave, the seventh level. You go from the main room, the large room, the stairs in the upper right corner, Walk all the way down here, and that's where you find it. Dragon Egg number five is here in the Purple Noon Cave. You just walk around to the lower right corner of the main floor, walk onto this plateau, there it is. Dragon Egg number six is in the North Glasdar Cave. What you gotta do is go back to that one room, flip the switch up here, so that way you can teleport to this room, because we had to flip it down to get the uh, Glasdar key. And then you can teleport here, get the Dragon Egg. Dragon Egg number seven is here on the Cave 2 Glasdar Tower. Uh, it's in the large area on the left side here. Now, you're gonna want to walk to Glasdar Tower to get the next Dragon Egg because you can't take your airship there still. All right, we're back in Glasdar Tower with our old friend, the Switch Room. You wanna step on the right two switches there, then continue up to that treasure room again where we were at before. And there it is, the eighth and final dragon egg. So now let's uh, get out of here. Oh, I can't warp out of here, okay. Well, I'll meet you at the dragon shrine to make the final exchange. Okay, we're back at the dragon shrine to exchange the dragon eggs for the final wish that I want. And for this one, I still like getting a, another might shield for the magic defense. It is just so ridiculously good. The might bow is good on Jaren, 
but you're not going to run into very large groups of enemies at this point in the game, so really it's not that good, and it's not worth it to get it early enough because when it might have been useful, because you have the blast spell. So I just love getting three might shields for everyone there. And uh, just so you can see, here's my setup here. Uh, if you don't have might armor, give Adol the Zircon armor, obviously, because you probably don't have that, but uh, I figure I might as well use it, but there we go. And that's it, you can only get three wishes, that's it. So, okay, well that's everything we can do here. So let's warp on over to Aris, and then we'll fly over to do do my Okay, I can walk to my ship first, why not? Let's head on over there. Warp to RS. Just fly northwest. Yeah. Kick ass music. I like this music. We'll hear more of that later. Let's go in here. Huh, it's weird they got a little peaceful shrine here. What the? This is where those four shrines were before. And you can warp back to all those other shrines, but what's going on here? Who are you anyway? Uh, some people have speculated that he is Maxim, because he's the only guy who was on Doom Island when it collapsed, and somehow he survived this long. I'll just tell you right now, no, it is definitely not Maxim. And there's no explanation who this guy is, or why this is all here, it's just there. It's a final healing save point, so that's all it is. I don't know why, I don't have an explanation for you. I don't need to explain this kick-ass music, though. Remix of the intro theme there? I like it! I like it! But yeah, you have to walk up here. You cannot fly your airship up here, so... Oh, well. But man, I love the music with the war drums beat going and everything. Now? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I used the sweet water to get all of the, uh, dragon eggs. What can I tell you? I cheated. So anyway, let's go through the Fortress of Doom! It's time to kick ass and take names! But first, let's grab this treasure. Yeah, uh, all the treasure here is exactly the same as before. Whether you got it before or not, doesn't matter. Actually, you could have skipped all the treasure earlier, and you still would have gotten 100% treasure rating. So, just so you know, only these chests now apply to the treasure rating. But first things first, we got some enemies here. Uh, gold golems, they are really, really hard. But fortunately, well, I got really, really lucky and confused them. They have really high magic defense and physical defense, so really, Adol and Maguro are going to be the only ones who can actually do anything against them. And apparently, confusing them doesn't seem to get them off my ass, but, well, I'll do the best I can. Now, one thing with the dragon eggs... Uh, I should have used the wind flute. Oh, well. With the dragon eggs, uh, if I, I think I said it earlier, but they replace all the treasures that you would have found earlier. So if you didn't get those treasure chests earlier, and then you exchange the dragon eggs, you would miss a tr whatever treasure was in there before. It would override it. And then you would not be able to get a 100% treasure rating. That's why I've waited until nearly the end of the game in order to exchange all those dragon eggs. So just so you know, I probably mentioned that two or three times by now, but... I don't know, maybe you're watching this in the future! And you, for some reason, didn't watch all those episodes earlier. I don't know. And I don't know how you're supposed to know to look for all of them. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Look for every single treasure chest throughout the game to get the dragon eggs if you don't have a walkthrough? It's ridiculous! But, well, whatever. The rewards are worth it, so... Anyway, up here, let's grab these uh, other stat potions here. I don't know who I'm going to give the Mind Potion to. Uh, I guess Jaren. Not that I'm ever going to cast an attack spell ever again. And uh, you know what? I could use a little bit of healing, so let's go with boost. Too bad Jaren's the only one who gets it. Well, Luffy, I had it, but she's gone now, so. Yeah, all the treasures are the same here, but the enemies are not. Holy cow, those were three gold golems there. Man, I mean, they just take forever to kill. Oh, well. I suppose it could be worse. Okay, well, let's head on up here. You know, for our final dungeon, it's pretty straightforward, so... Well, it's nice that they have its own unique music. I like the theme for the Fortress of Doom, too, myself. You know, I remember finding those dragon... Uh, dragon eggs to be a lot more tedious. Even knowing where they are, I just remember it taking me a lot longer to find them all. Eh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it was because I was using the sweet waters this time around. I don't know. And just so you know, there's no particular order to find them. 
it doesn't matter what order you find them in as long as you get all eight of them. So, the first eight Dragon Balls will always be in their location, the second eight in there, the third eight in there. So, don't worry about that. But anyway, we've got a spell potion. Let's give that to eight all there. Awesome. Someone was saying that the uh, Dragon Balls kind of remind them of the Namekian Dragon Balls because they granted three wishes and these dragon eggs gave uh, three wishes, you know, so kind of another interesting parallel as opposed to just finding them and, uh, well, uh, doing something else or finding them and then they scatter across the world and everything like that. Now here's something that I didn't think about before. I, I want to try those instant death weapons again, see, or instant death items. Yeah, you see, it didn't work. You lied to me. No. no. Well, I'll have Jaren give it another try. Uh, let's try the dragon arrow, because I think that's another... Huh. Okay, I guess they don't really do that much. Okay. Bad idea on my part. I was thinking, hey, maybe I'll be clever and add something new to my walkthrough. But no, no, it won't work. But anyway, that's an Act Hydra. I don't know what that's an abbreviation for. Action Hydra? No. No, probably not. But, uh... I don't know. You, you got me on that one, Pierce. But anyway, we want to head around back here. Ah, there they are. Do I really need these miracles? No, not really. I've got 50 of them. It's less than, what did I have in the intro, 87? Something ridiculous like that. By the way, those steps at the top and the back there, if you don't recall from the intro, those will lead to HP and MP restoration tiles. Not that I need them or care, but they're there. Would have been kind of cool if they let you have a remark on any of the Sinistrals, or at least Aram's statue. But, no, they don't. Oh well. Let's see if I can give that Gloom Arrow another try. Let's see if that can work on this guy. Oh, alright! I guess it does work. That guy will kill you with that Dragon Breath, and it's much worse than the previous dragons. So, well, I guess they don't work all the time, but I guess in some situations they can work. Let's not head up there yet. Let's walk around here first. Ooh, we got dragon statues. I don't know why. I guess, you know, it makes your place look nice for uh, all your friends, you know? Well, not that Sinistrals have friends. I don't know. All right, there we go. I think that's all the treasure in the game that we can get. So, let me just uh, heal up here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, you know what, let's use can. Game. There we go. Let's use our miracles there. And we're all set and ready to go. But can we defeat the Sinistrals without the dual blade? Find out next time on Let's Play Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.